I just connected the dots on something pretty big and I want to share. So what I realized is that video games, right? I used to play a lot of them. What happens to that energy? Like there's creative energy that goes somewhere. And then I was thinking about synovial fluid and uh, semen. And so in semen retention, what happens is the, um, the semen gets built up and then it goes up the spine and gets added to the synovial fluid. And then it like makes your brain healthy, increases circulation to your scalp and all this stuff. And I noticed, you know, my hair would thin if I played a lot of video games and jacked off a lot. Like no joke, it just tracked it in my own life. And if I stopped doing those things, like I, I would feel like sometimes if I did that too much, I would feel like my head was like shrinking or shriveling. And so to me, that confirms the cerebrospinal connection, um, top and bottom of the spine. Basically, it makes sense they're connected. So there's a fluidic system there. And it's also creative energy. So I learned recently that one of the things that happens when you do semen retention is that it builds up in your head after going up your spine and then it'll go back down your throat and you swallow it goes into your gut uh, there's some good videos about that on youtube so uh, maybe put some links in the description for you uh, so anyway yeah so i realized that and then i realized well let's see so you're doing all this jacking off playing video games like i, I was at that time what happens to that energy that's creative energy being harvested. It's being harvested by the beings responsible for creating these distractions. And I'm not talking about human beings. I'm talking about these people. These are energies acting through humans to create these things in, on earth. And so they're just like traps, you know, like the bait for the master, the master bait. And it's not just pornography. It's any kind of distraction or excess that has a medium where nothing gets created. So let's say I play a video game for 200 hours, 500 hours, 1,000 hours. Where does all that energy go? All of my creative energy during that time, I was supposed to be living life, being a creator, manifesting, all these things. That energy goes somewhere. And it didn't go to me, it got taken from me. It like went through me to something else. It went to this construct. And that construct is a harvesting mechanism. It's harvesting these feelings and emotions on behalf of the entity that induced its creation. So that's the aha that I had, the sort of the, the connecting the um, sexual energy, the cerebrospinal fluid, and then also what happens to the energy that is spent because energy is not created or destroyed. I mean, I think it actually can be created because but anyway, it's a whole other thing. Uh, I think that it can be created and destroyed, but regardless, um, the universe doesn't waste energy. Yeah, it's a whole separate conversation. Sorry I brought it up. Maybe I'll go into it later. But yeah, this energy goes into the construct and the construct uh, delivers this emotional energy to the recipient, which is basically a non-embodied energy. And if you think about it, you know, like the beings that created these distractions get rewarded and their feelings get shared with the being that helps them to create the thing. So, yeah, it gets kind of complex and layered, but I wanted to point out the connection. Thanks for listening.